Three, two, one. Hello, welcome back to Twins Reviews. Today we are reviewing the Duo 10 E7 wireless speaker. Let's jump into it. All right, let's unbox this, the Duo 10 E7 speaker. Here's what you get inside. You get a little a USB-A to USB-C charging cable, which is pretty handy. You get an aux as well, which is very nice. You can use it with the speaker. You get a little Duo 10 manual and the speaker. So a pretty compact package, yet all the essentials that you need charging and even an aux, which is, which is great. Uh, the speaker itself looks amazing. It's uh, aesthetically pleasing, gotta love it. All right, let's jump in. All right, before we get into reviewing the actual features of the speaker, I would just like to say, if you enjoy our videos, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. You can also hit the bell for notifications and check out our website, which is also linked down below. Now, we also recently came out with a Star Wars fan film. I mentioned this in the previous video, but I'll mention it here again. If you haven't seen it, there's also going to be a link to that. It's only three minutes long, so please give that a watch if you feel like it. All right, now let's talk about this speaker. It's going to be a pretty short video, but let's first talk about the features. Then we'll talk about what we like about it and what we don't like about it. So firstly, there is a few cool features about this one. Uh, it is RGB, so at the top right here, it can light up with uh, different colors. There's three modes, no light, then a pulsing light, and then a light that goes to the music, or at least it's supposed to. In the tests that we ran, it's not really that reactive so if you're hoping that it's really good it's not the greatest but it's it's pretty cool to have so those are the three lighting options then you have a few controls here on the side you have a plus a minus and like a circle minus which acts like as a pause and power button so you can uh, turn up the sound, turn down the sound, and obviously turn off the stuff. All right, so if you open this right here, you can see that you can uh, use an aux with it. You can also use a USB-C and put an SD card into here as well, which is kind of cool. The build of the actual speaker is quite nice. And I think that, you know, you could carry it around with you if you want. And I think that's that's pretty a pretty good feature of it. Now, the speaker is also a uh, waterproof, actually. It's IPX7, which is a pretty good rating. There is a total of IPX, uh, there's eight uh, ratings. And IPX7 is like you can dunk the speaker in water like fully. And then it should be all right. You probably want to refrain from that. But this makes it a pretty good outdoor speaker. Now, one other feature that could be useful for the outdoors is actually you can connect two of these together and they can pair as uh, pretty much a louder stereo speaker. So you can have two playing the same music. So that is pretty good. And we'll come back to that when we talk about how much sound it produces. Yeah. But the price of it is actually around $30. But you can also use some Amazon uh, like discount codes that they have with the check mark so you can actually get it down It's like ranges from 20 to 30 dollars So that's definitely something to note It's very cheap and you can go ahead and use our link in the description if you want to get yourself the duo 10 7 Yeah, the price for the speaker is quite nice and I do want to mention that the sound quality of the speaker is pretty good I think that you know for for 20 30 dollars the sound quality of the speaker is you know something Something, something fairly good. Uh, personally, to me, I, I work with music and stuff. I, I can't really hear how it's bad. I would definitely choose this speaker over something super expensive, uh, you know, for 20, 30 bucks. If this is an option, I'm definitely going with this. As for the amount of sound that it produces, it actually produces quite the amount of sound. If you're using this in a closed environment, then I think this will do very well. We also tried it outside and it's still pretty good as long as the space is kind of confined. But if you're going out more into like a larger space, then maybe it's not gonna be as loud, but that's like a problem that a lot of portable speakers have. So uh, honestly, the sound, the amount of sound that this produces for such a small speaker is very nice. Now also in regards to build quality, he was talking about it is like honestly very nice this fits my aesthetic super super well it's got the matte black plastic finish and then like this fiber cloth um covering where the sound comes from it, it's it feels great in your hand and it's just aesthetically a pleasing uh speaker which i absolutely love oh uh, yeah so we do want to mention that the battery life is 15 hours so you're not you're just not gonna run out of battery unless you forget to charge it or something uh so wherever you're taking it you'll you're definitely gonna have the battery life for it to last so you can buy this speaker down below we have uh, put a link in the description it's an amazon link and it helps us out when you do make a purchase from there so if you're interested please be sure to go and do that also 
one thing about the sound quality is the bass. He kind of talked about the sound quality a little bit, but the bass is probably the most thing that people want in, in quality speakers. And the bass is actually pretty good. I was surprised with how much bass we were able to hear on it. And this little thing is like a reactive bass, like, pill thingy, I don't know what to call it, but it, it reacts with the bass and you can kind of feel the vibrations as bass and music comes. Uh, it's not the greatest bass, obviously, but it's pretty good and the highs are very good as well. So honestly, overall, this is a very good speaker for 25, 30 bucks. I think I'd be taking this uh, any day of the week, honestly. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to check out our other videos in our channel if you haven't seen them, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.